Let's get to Adam Claybon now. Tracking a little bit of rain in our forecast, Adam. Yeah, the rain's back late tonight. So still, overall, the next few hours are going to stay dry. But by the time you head out tomorrow morning, expect some of those showers to be in place. And as we go into tomorrow, we are still expecting the sunset to be around uh, that 6 o'clock hour. But hey, we're not too far away from the beginning of spring, which is in 13 days, believe it or not. Now, as we look at the sunset tomorrow, that's at 604. Sunrise at 636. Uh, still remaining quiet, though, is looking at our current conditions here at the waterfront as we have some of the cloudy skies in place, but uh, no rain to speak of as of yet. 43, a southeast wind coming in at 9 miles per hour. Expect to see those areas of showers in place by early tomorrow morning, though, for your commute. Sitting at 40 in Bremerton, 42 in Shelton, 49 right now in Hoquiam, and more of the lower 40s as you head farther to the north. So temperatures pretty uniform in the low to mid 40s, and they shouldn't drop a whole lot now with more of these clouds beginning to arrive. Here's our system. It's beginning to inch closer and closer. Starting to see here along the northern coast of the Olympic Peninsula and even across the tip of the Olympic Peninsula, maybe a few sprinkles showing up on radar closer to Nia Bay. Uh, the rain, though, should start to fill in a little more as we get past midnight as the system heads its way south into the region. With that being the case, that is going to mean some areas of not only just rain, but up into the mountains. We're talking snow that will start to break out as we get past midnight as well. Here we are at 2 a.m. We're starting to see that enter. Now, Everton northward will have the best chances of seeing that here during the nighttime hours. By tomorrow morning, around that commute time, we'll start to see this sink a little farther to the south. You see it starts to fill into at the same time for about 6 to 7 a.m. tomorrow morning up across the mountains. Also beginning to see the snow coming in down a little heavier at that time. And then it really quickly starts to head southward as we go into the afternoon hours. So 1, 2 p.m., most spots near and north of Seattle already beginning to dry out. Only a spotty area of light rain here and there. While southward around Tacoma and more across Pierce County and down into the southern Cascades, that's where we expect that snow and that lowland rain to hold on for just a little while longer. We'll go into tomorrow evening, 8 to 9 p.m. It's a quick hitter. It's done and it's moving out of here with drying conditions throughout tomorrow night and then by Wednesday. We'll start off with some cloud coverage, but we'll head into the afternoon starting to see more sunshine with a lot more of it on the way by Thursday. Rain amounts around 2 tenths of an inch, a little more getting closer to Olympia and then closer to about a half an inch with the additional moisture there around Puyallup. North of there, about a tenth of an inch or less as you go up around more of Oak Harbor, Friday Harbor, and then getting closer to Bellingham. And then the snow amounts, we're going to see the higher amounts southward again, around five inches closer to a half a foot at Crystal Mountain. Two to three, maybe four inches, Snoqualmie at Stevens Pass, and then lesser amounts that are expected around Mount Baker and also Hurricane Ridge. And then once we get done with that, not only is Wednesday dry, but yeah, Thursday is dry. Pretty sunny there and also fairly sunny heading into Friday with a high back up to 52 degrees with rain returning over the weekend as we start daylight saving time into Sunday.